Hey everybody, I am so excited to share this project with you. This was a recent-ish live stream that I did. I uh, just created a quick envelope using some AB Studio paper and an all to new stamp set, which is this one here, the pen sketched uh, flower stamp set. And as always, all of the supplies are listed down below, so be sure to check them out if you are interested in any of the products that I'm using. I am starting off using some gesso, and I don't recall where I got the envelope from. I do apologize for that. Um, but if I do find a similar one, I will definitely leave it in the description box for you guys. I'm using a old Toys R Us gift card to scrape on my uh, gesso and sadly I will say there probably is still some money on there um, I thought that scraping it on instead of brushing it on will give it a little bit different look and a little bit different texture after that I'm adding some crackle paste and this is from deco art it is an amazing crackle paste uh, if you are looking for one this is definitely it I this is probably one of my favorites so far Besides the Finnebear white crackle paste, that one was by far my favorite, but you can't really get it anywhere anymore. So I've had to find an alternative. <laughs> All right, after that dried, I am now stamping some texture with an All in Create stamp set uh, designed by my beautiful and talented friend Olga. Um, and I love this stamp set because it just adds, it has different textures and um, just to kind of give the project a little bit more interest and I'm using some Altenew black ink for that. Uh, this way um, this ink is good for alcohol markers and any other sort of watercoloring or anything that you're going to be doing on top of it. It won't bleed. All right, so I am now adding some color with some chalk edgers, and surprisingly, these chalk edgers are still working. Um, they are still a little bit juicy. I did have to add a little bit more water to one of them, but that is totally fine. I definitely need to use up what I have, so I believe you can still find these. If not, I do apologize, but um, I'm sure a lot of you have uh, these in your stash. They were very popular. Um, quite a few years ago. All right, I am now adding some chipboard. I believe this is a dusty attic chipboard. And then I'm using, or I'm adding the stamped images that I did off camera before the live stream. I stamped out a bunch of these floral images from the pen sketched flowers uh, stamp set from Altenew onto some of that AB Studio paper and used some Brutus Monroe black embossing powder, which is amazing. It had a little bit of a hard time sticking to the Versamark ink. Um, it's not as fine, I think, as the super fine Ranger embossing powder, but anyways, <laughs> um, it ended up working. I had to stamp it twice, but it's okay. Um, and then I added some upholstery thread and then added a little flower on top of that just to add a little bit more of something on there. And then I'm adding a, another piece of that chipboard and then adding a sentiment from a Tim Holtz Small Talk sticker pack. And of course, I am adding some splatters with the Distress Spray in Picket Fence which is my absolute favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time that I upload a video. Also, uh, if you want to leave me a comment, I love reading your comments. And here is the channel member shout out. Uh, these are all of my channel members as of today, 916. Just wanna give them a huge shout out. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. And here is a couple more videos you might enjoy. Um, and be sure to share this video with your friends. Um, again, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I want to thank you guys for always supporting me, liking, commenting, sharing, all of that. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.